Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry basic part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's move on with the aliphatic hydrocarbon, that is the hydrocarbon with the straight or branch chain, but with functional groups now. So we define the longest chain first, which should contain the functional group. So earlier without functional group, we had the longest chain which has double bond. So now with that, we have to find the longest chain, which should also contain the functional group. And the numbering is done such a way that the functional group gets the lowest possible number. So the priority will be the first, the lowest number should be given to the functional group, FX group, and then double bond, uh, double or triple bond, and then alkyl which is attached in the branch, or you can say the branch. This is the priority now. The functional group should be given the lowest number, and the next priority is for the double and triple bond, and the last priority is for the branch, right? The primary suffix for the carbon-carbon multiple bond is observed in the longest chain. So carbon-carbon multiple bond is there and it is observed there. To find the secondary uh, suffix, the functional group is identified. You have to identify the functional group also. And the name is in this fashion, the prefix, the, where the uh, functional group lies, the word root, uh, the primary suffix and the secondary suffix. This is my naming convention method. So let's take this example. So in this case, CH3, CH2OS, there is no primary suffix. The word root, they are two carbon. So ETH is the word root, ETH, right? Primary suffix, all single bond. So N is the primary suffix, right? All single bond. Secondary suffix is nothing but the functional groups. This OH group. So OL is the alcohol group, is the secondary suffix. So name is ethanol, ETH, anyway. Why? There is no pre prefix. The word root is it. They are two carbon. Primary suffix is an because they are only single bonds. And ol is the secondary suffix that is the functional group. Let's take this guy. CH2OH, CH2OH. So let me draw this structure actually just for you to understand it better. This is OH here. And there's one more OH here. This is a structure. Correct. So here, what is the prefix? There is no prefix because there is no chain here. I mean, there's a branch here. So if you see here, uh, what is the word root? Two carbon. So it is ethane, eth. Primary suffix, all single bond. So it is ethane. Now they are two alcohol, right? So instead of uh, all, we'll use one to diol. So it is ethane, one, two, diol. Hope you understand this. See, there is no primary suffix here. There is no prefix here. The word root is ith because there is two carbon atom. And the primary suffix, that is the number of uh, carbon, carbon, multiple, multiple bond is, there is no uh, double bonds, all single bonds. So it's an is the primary suffix. Secondary suffix is nothing but it, you get the information of the functional group. So it's all alcohol group and since they were two alcohol, so it's one to diol. Let's name this aliphatic hydrocarbon with functional group. So the longest chain is this guy, right? Let me name number this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you number from this position, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the first priority is given to functional group. So in, in this case, the function is getting sixth position. In this case, the function is getting third position. So this is not good. The functional group should get the lowest position. This is my correct ordering. Correct. Is there a prefix here? Yes. At six, I have a methyl group here. This is six methyl. This is my prefix. How many carbon? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's oct. Then all single bond in right and there is an alcoholic group at third position so it is three or so it is six methyl octane three or let's try to name this guy let's name this compound so we have how many carbon atoms we have one two three 
4 right for carbon atom so if you draw this in this fashion it is CH3 CH double bond CH COH I'm more comfortable in this so I draw like this this is my longest chain I can number from here 1 2 3 4 or here 1 2 3 4 but this is incorrect why because functional group should get the lowest number correct this is my correct naming convention so let me write this name now so it is how many uh, there is no prefix because there is no uh, branch here 1 2 3 4 carbon so it is but double bond yes there is a double bond at position 2 so but 2 in and there is a carboxylic acid at position 1 so 1 oic acid this is the name but 2 in 1 oic acid correct so if there are more than one functional group of the same type then the number is indicated by di and tri so if we have more let's suppose we have two alcohol or two uh, aldehyde the number is, is represented by di and tri for example let's take this guy so we have one two three alcohol group so let's number this carbon it is how many carbon four carbon one two three four is one option in the green and with this I get 1 plus 2 plus 4 1 plus 2 plus 4 that is 7 this number in the other way round it's number in blue so it is 1 2 3 4 so with that it is 1 plus 4 1 plus 2 plus 4 1 plus 2 plus 4 right 1 sorry 1 plus 3 plus 4 this is A, so we'll not take the blue one. We'll will not take the blue one. So green ones are the right ones. This is my numbering convention. So my name will be what one two four. It is one. There is no prefix, so let's start with the word root four carbon. So it will be but but all single bond in one two one two and four are the position for alcoholic group. 1 2 4 try all that will be the name butane 1 2 4 try all let's name this guy so we have one carbon here 1 2 3 4 this is one possible option so in this case i am getting uh, the sum as 1 1 plus 4 plus 2 for the double bond that is 7 let's try with the uh, reverse way that is 1 2 3 4 so here also 1 plus 4 plus 2 right for carbon it's all same so i can take any of these so let me take blue only okay blue is gonna let me take both are same actually so i can take any of them so let's start with the convention so uh, there is no prefix there's no branch here so 1 2 3 4 carbon so it's but at second position i have double bond so but q in and first and fourth position I have carboxylic acid so it's 1 comma 4 di oic acid correct but because 4 2 in second position I have double bond and first and fourth position I have uh, acid so di oic acid let's take this guy I can name it in this fashion 1 2 3 4 or 1, 2, 3, 4. It's all same because in both the case, if you see, it's 2 and 3, right? If you rate, uh, name this fashion 1, 2, 3, 4, it will be 2 and 3, it will be 3 and 2. So I can name any of these way. Since there is no prefix because there is no branch here. So there are 4 uh, carbon, so it's but, all single, so butane. At 2 and 3rd, 2nd and 3rd position, I have ketone, so it's dione. And that is my answer. So in case there are more than one functional groups, that is we have polyfunctional compounds which has more than one functional groups, for example, it has both alcohol and aldehyde, it's one case. So in that case, there is an order in which we have to choose which is the 
functional group for the compound. There's a priority actually. So COH is the highest priority. SO3 is the next. COR is the next where R is the near alkyl group. COCl and CONH2CN is the priority. COH is the highest priority. OH stands here. This double bond and triple bond is almost in the least, right? This is the order of priority. For example, we have this OH, CS2, CS2, 3, CS2, COS3. So let me draw this first. So in this case, this is my longest chain. Right? Draw this one. This is my longest chain. Now I have OH group and CO CS3. So OH group is here and ketone group is here. Which is the more priority? This. So I'll start the numbering from here. Correct? Why? Because OH has least uh, less priority than this. So I'll start the numbering from here. Correct? So once my numbering is done, what is the name of this compound? This will be, uh, there is a prefix here. This is the hydroxy is the prefix here. So it will be 7 hydroxy and then I have my root 7 uh, carbon. So it's hept, all single bond, so heptane. At second position, I have a ketone group. So 2O, oh, this is the See, 7 hydroxy is the prefix here, right? Because I have a hydroxy group attached to the 7th number. This is basically ketone, right? This is basically ketone. So I'm getting this uh, uh, because the ketone has a higher priority over alcohol. So this is 7 hydroxy, 7 carbon, so hept, all single, A. a and then I have at second position, I have ketone. ketone. Let's try to name this guy. In this, if you see, I have a double bond and I have a bromine. In fact, in this itself, you see, after this, I have halo, halogen, nitro, then alkyl. These are my lower priority ones, actually. This is the snap. So in this case, uh, halo is bromine, it will get least priority, double bond is more priority. So this is my naming convention, one, two, three, correct? Hope you understand this. Because this has a double bond, alkene has more priority over halo. So this will be the naming, uh, numbering. If this is the numbering, my bromine becomes a prefix. So this becomes three bromo. I have three carbon. So it is with it probe, one double bond. At one position, throw the. This is the naming convention. Let's practice some more uh, name, nomenclature of aliphatic hydrocarbons. Let's try to name this. So let's uh, number this one, two, three, four, five, six. So, or we can, in this case, my methyl group will be at two and five. So, two plus five is equal to seven. Let's try to number in the reverse. Let's try in this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, here also 5 plus 2, 7. So we can take any of these, so I'll take the red ones. So the, the name of this will be what, 2 and 5 I have methyl group, so it will be 2, 5, they are 2 methyl, so it's dimethyl. And they are 6 carbons, so it's hex, all single bond, A. 25 dimethyl hexane. Let's take this. Let's get the numbering, numbering as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can do other way around also, but since it's a fluorine group, it's a halogen group, it's a functional group. So I have to name in this fashion, right, to get the lower pattern of this. So the name of this will be 1, 2, 2, because there are two fluorines at uh, 2, 1, 2, 2. There are three fluorines, so it's totally tri-fluoro and there are five carbon, so it's pent, all single bond, in. So one, two, two, tri-fluoro, pentane. 
Let's try to name this uh, aliphatic hydrocarbon. So this is my longest chain. I can name it in this fashion 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can also name in this fashion 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Since there's an OH group here, it should get the lowest number. So if I take this pattern, it gets 6. If I take this pattern, it does position 3. So I'll take this. I'll not take this. Correct. So this is my pattern. So now I have a prefix yes. At fifth carbon, I have methyl group. Sorry, sixth carbon, I have a methyl group. So it will be 6 methyl. 8 carbon, so it will be oct, all single bond, in at third I have alcohol, 3O, correct, so 6 methyl, octane, 3O, let's take this, so here uh, I have alkene and alkyne, right, so out of alkene and alkyne, alkene is more priority, so I will name in this pattern, why alkene is more priority than alkyne, so there are two functional group alkene and alkyne here, so alkene is more priority, so this is the pattern. So what is the name of this? Is there any prefix? No, no branch or something. So it will be 6 uh, carbon, it will be hex. And then uh, at 1 and 3, I have my ein, ein actually, 1 comma 3, diein, and at 5th, I have I. This is my name. Let's take this. So we have uh, both ketone, both the places. So we'll have to use di. And if you use this pattern, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I get at 4 plus 2, that is 6. If I use this pattern, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it will be 3 plus 5, that is 8. So I'll not take this. 6 is small, so I'll take this numbering, right, so this will become, uh, there is prefix, no, there is no prefix, so there are 6 uh, carbon, so it will be hex, all single bond, hexane, at 2 and 4 I have ketone, so 2 and 4 dione, let's take the last one, so here I have COH group, and this group, ketone group, so out of this, this is more priority, so I'll number in this fashion 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Is there any uh, prefix? Yes. So its name will be 5 oxo, 5 oxo at 5 I have keto group and then I have uh, 6 so it will be hexane, all single so hexane and this oic acid, so hex and oic acid. And that is my answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.